Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to talk about a few notable updates in the new public release 0.9.17 for Obsidian. The first update or notable uh, feature that's being released here is the aliases and front matter. So if we create a new file now and you can do or add front matter to your documents by using the three dashes. This is like the YAML formatting um, front matter uh, notation here that you would use. And now you can actually put in aliases for your document. This, these aliases will be used for when you're creating backlinks to your, to the document itself that now these aliases can be used. So if we put in a few here for this test file, we'll, we'll put the alias test, tester, and maybe testing, just to see how this works. And if we go to the file, say un, untitled, uh, we'll just call it untitled test file. Now, if we want to do a backlink to that doc, we're gonna do it from the same file here, but this will translate and act the same way in other documents as well. We can go ahead and do the double brackets and you can see right off the bat that the different um, aliases come up for this particular document here at the top. Now we can choose either of these particular aliases that we want to use for this doc. So you create the aliases so that they're appropriate to maybe your uh, putting them in line with other texts so you want it to flow a little bit better so the alias should be somewhat useful right and if we go ahead and select one let's say tester it does not just put the 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 two brackets and then tester it does use the full formatting so that this is um, a, you can you're able to use this particular link in other say applications um, so you don't need to have obsidian to use this this link in the future if you're using something different now if we go ahead and preview this particular link we will see that it adheres to the the alias notation and you can click on this link and it will of course take you to the actual document we're already in it the other new feature in this in this version of obsidian is the use of tags in the front matter as well so we'll go ahead and put in some tags here you put in the tag property here uh, colon just like we did with aliases and then you can put tags in as such so we can do test here and you can put multiple as well and I found um, that if you put the quotations around the the actual tag that you're putting in that it will actually adhere to everything you put in in between those I've seen other formatting where you could do this without the actual the actual quotations, but then I've seen where some characters um, were supported or not, and the tag may not work for you. So, putting the quotation marks around your hashtag is the way to do it to make sure that the hashtag is accepted. Now, if we bring up tags pane here, we should be able to see these two tags here are added as well. Now, outside some of the bug fixes that have been um, added to this particular release, one other notable um, thing that's been added here is that now there is a downloadable version of Obsidian for the M1 Apple Silicon Macs that are out there now. So I have upgraded my Mac to an M1 Mac and it works very well. So if we go here into the processes now, I've already upgraded mine. Let's look for Obsidian. And we have Obsidian here, and we can see that the architecture that it's running on 
is the Apple Silicon. Okay, so those were the notable updates within this particular public release. My name is Anton. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like this video. And until the next time, have a nice day.